Hey, Jimmy here from Jimmy's Rebuilders here. Uh, <laughs> man, I found another one here. I don't know how many uh, uh, how many people are interested in stuff like this, but uh, I think this is a pretty cool car. I'm not much on convertibles, but uh, I saw this thing here. It's, it might not be a real, you know, if you're just looking for a car to get back on the road, you need a pretty good car just to get back up on the road. It would be easy to fix probably. Uh, this might be your car. Or you just want something, uh, uh, a nice, uh, like a, hot rod or something uh, this would be a pretty good one here um this is our classic car or whatever uh man look at this thing it's got uh, 95,638 miles on it it's a farmer's insurance car and usually i find farmers has a little better cars than like the geico's and stuff like that uh, uh but anyway um uh, this always even has a bill sheet on it too uh but anyway look at this thing they, this thing's in whoever had this thing kept this thing up in really good shape for a 96, look at this thing. It must have been kept in the garage or something. But uh, look at this interior on this thing. It's, look at that. It's got, uh, it's running. It looks like it's running. No check engine lights on, so that's a good sign. Uh, the seats are really nice. I like those seats. Inter uh, under the hood's really nice. Uh, man, it looks like it's got all the padding on the hood. This is probably the original hood. This is probably all the original parts for, on this thing. Uh, man, look at that. Oh, the door looks nice. So whoever had this thing kept it in pretty good shape. Uh, Let's see what this thing is. This has a build sheet on. Let's see if this shows us anything here. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Blah, blah, blah. Look here. Front showing. Uh, C28 convertible. I don't know if these are factory convertibles or they're sent off to somebody like ASC or something to get these things done. I don't know anything about it. If somebody knows, uh, let me know here. I just don't know. Uh, sometimes it tells you the options on it. Sometimes it just tells you like the standard stuff on it. Doesn't nothing not to see anything really different on here. Exterior, blah, 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 blah. Mechanical. Three, got a 342 rear axle. Uh, four independent spinning, four rack opinion, power brakes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, not a whole lot on here. Sometimes it tells you some pretty cool stuff, but, but anyway. But then I went over here and I found uh, I found this on eBay here. A hood for a Z28 Camaro. So this is going to be the right hood, right color, more than likely. Uh, and it's going to have all this, more than likely it has all the stuff underneath the hood. Uh, you know, sometimes if it has an emission sticker, they stick them inside the hood. I don't know about this, but it looked like it was on the course board, so I'm not really sure. But uh, you could get this hood. You wouldn't have to worry about painting, probably, for the same age and everything. Uh, and you might get the course board off this thing, too. I don't know how much of trouble it would be to get that off, but you'd have your white course board with all the decals on it. But uh, that's another <laughs> that's another story there. But uh, $200, $500 shipping, that might be kind of pricey because you can just get a hood and paint it, but... Anyway, I, sometimes I like to just get a color match hood just for the heck of it. Uh, but sometimes that can be more expensive. But I don't know, the price of paint and getting stuff painted, that could cost you almost that much just getting it painted. But uh, anyway, uh, I've had pretty good experience with that because uh, a lot of times they ship them. I, I hadn't had any damage on some of these. So uh, I've had on the aftermarket goods, I've had damage on them. You know, you buy those uh, Taiwan hoods or whatever. And I've had the corners that would never feel always have a corner bent on, on the hood somewhere. But anyway it's just one of those what's what goes with it but i've never had on these uh, uh from a wrecking yard usually they're pretty good about it but anyway let's get back to the car uh but man look at this thing let's do a 360 on this has a 360 on it so uh let's see what we can do here 360 look at that here's a damage on it it looks like it's a swiping blow so it's not a direct hit but it might have caught that frame right there i don't know but anyway it's hard to say but caught the hood's all messed up uh, might be a problem getting those stripes. I don't know if you get factory decals or not, but maybe you can find some stripes somewhere or get it painted one or the other. But man, look, this this thing is a pretty clean car. Top looks in good shape. Uh, all the way, it's hard to tell sometimes, but it looks like the car's in pretty good shape all the way around. Tops. So anyway, let's see what the interior, do the interior view. Uh, it looks pretty nice, except for the airbags. But I think your dashboard's okay. You just get this little, you can buy this whole airbag thing goes in here. Uh, and then you get your steering wheel. So it's just a hassle to fix. I don't know. Uh, it's just one of those things. Use, a lot of times they put the, I don't know where the airbag stuff is. It's probably under the, sometimes it's under the passenger seat on these older Chevrolets. I don't know about Camaros. Somebody knows where they are. Let me know. But and what is this thing? Is this a? I've never, I've never, I've never noticed this thing. Is this for uh, DVDs or some kind of storage compartment? I don't know what this is right here. I've never seen this, but it's got, a, it's a factory thing. Because it's got, uh, I don't know what these gauges say on here. 
There's your cigarette lighter, which I think is pretty cool. I just leave that in there. It's pretty cool. But got a DVD player. Uh, but anyway, I don't know what this. If somebody knows what this is, let me know. I don't know. I don't know what that is there. Uh, it's one of those cool uh, '90s things, I guess. But anyway, I just saw this. I just I thought this is a pretty neat car. Probably it says it runs and drives. So I, I wouldn't doubt it. But uh, looking at the damage on here, I don't think it's. Uh, probably gonna need a core sport. Uh, to make that headlight and everything fit in there right. Uh, yeah, because look, it's pretty well banged up here. Sometimes you can straighten these out. Well, that may be a, that may be a, uh, like a filler or something in there. I don't know what these are. But uh, there's all your decals are on the top there. So I think you're okay on the decals because that part that is fr shrouds okay. Look, it's got a, that's probably a Delco battery in there. But anyway, I don't know. You, you know, you might be able to straighten that course board out where, you know, if you're just going to fix it to drive, you probably, uh, just quick get on the road and be alright bumper bar you need a bumper bar real bad and a bumper cover but anyway so, uh, wouldn't take much to get this thing back going here the biggest part I think is just getting the airbags fixed uh, that's the main thing on that but anyway I saw this I don't know how many people are interested in this thing but uh, it looks pretty cool the old pictures here uh, pretty nice looking car Z28 you just don't see a lot of Z28s anymore it's a farmer's insurance car, so look at that back. That looks pretty cool to me. Z28 and all that. And all that there. Well, anyway, I'll let y'all go. I saw this. I won't take up much of your time here, but I saw this thing. So somebody might be interested in it. It's only It's got like three days on this thing. Nobody's bid on it. Uh, it's, it's out of, uh, where is this thing? Out of Cleveland. So uh, they must just, the thing about stuff like this in Cleveland or these Rust Belt states, they don't drive these cars during the winter. They're parked, they're stored over the winter. And they come out, especially convertibles that come out in the summertime, spring, the summer, and fall. But uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about rust on this one here. So because somebody had this thing, kept good care of it. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll let y'all go. Uh, Till next time, if I see something interesting, I'll, I'll I'll post it on the channel here. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.